Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning here. A couple days until my first triathlon on Sunday. Today I'm gonna go for a little mini workout. Nothing too intense, just something to remind the legs of what's coming up. Stay sharp a little bit, so it'll just be about a 10 minute warm up and then how fart luck, two minutes on, one minute off for about 30 minutes total. So 10 times two minutes at threshold pace with one minute jog recoveries. Nothing too intense, just get the legs moving. That'll be about, well, race effort. It won't be race pace. This will probably be faster than what I'm doing in the race on Sunday, but it'll probably end up being pretty good a prep session, I think, for the triathlon. But I've never done a triathlon, so who knows? This could be a terrible idea. So far, it is already very hot, even though it's relatively early in the morning. I've got a little bit of a later start than usual. And it is humid, so body's feeling a little bit heavy. Let's see how the workout goes. Fourth rep done. I'm gonna turn it around here. Six more to go. The two minute reps feel good. Feeling real good. The warm up was misleading. Workout complete, I'm on the last cool down one minute and then for one minute recovery, then cool down. Whew, that was a good workout. Probably a little bit more than I should have done for this last week, right before the race. But you know, live and learn. It was really hot. I probably should have cut it down to like eight, maybe seven reps, but I feel like overall, as far as confidence builders go, this was a good one. All right, now let's go inside and uh, let's talk about some of my nutrition strategy. Got to figure that out. 6.69 miles, eight minutes, 14 seconds per mile on average for the entire run, including warmups and cool downs and recoveries and 153 beats per minute on average today. Going for my last workout, uh, just something to stay sharp before the Chicago triathlon. My first triathlon that'll be this Sunday. On average for the workout, I feel like uh, I did uh, a pretty good job on it. I think that the workout was a good one. I'm glad I got it uh, kind of under my belt and did that last one. I think that in retrospect, I probably should have cut it at eight just because it was getting really hot out there. And I don't think that, you know, from a sharpening perspective, what did I really gain from reps nine and 10? I think it would have been a little bit more prudent to kind of pull back on it just a little bit because uh, conditions were tough, but conditions are going to be tough on Sunday as well. So Mentally, I think that was also useful. The slowest one was 643 and the fastest one was 628. Uh, most of them coming in the 630s, which I think is right about uh, threshold pace for me. My half marathon pace, at least my PR half marathon pace is 640s and my 10K PR pace is 620s. So threshold is, should be somewhere in the 630s. And I think I was mostly in the mid 630s for today. So feeling pretty good about today's workout. I wish I could have run it in the shoe that I'm planning on racing in, which is gonna be the uh, Hoka Carbon X2, but um, I have been waiting for this and this didn't come until after I did the workout today. I got some speed laces that I wanna put into the shoe. So that way it's easier for me to get in and out of the shoe for the actual race. Um, but I'll give those a shot and I'll run them tomorrow. I won't do another workout, but I'll just kind of run in them, make sure, maybe do some strides, 
make sure that everything works out okay. But that's the plan, at least with the shoes that I'll be running in. But the main thing I wanna talk about today is uh, nutrition. Plus I've got a surprise unboxing. So with nutrition, what I wanted to think about doing is making sure I stay topped up. It's gonna be very hot and it's gonna be a long day. This is my first triathlon. I'm doing the Olympic distance. I'm also not a very good triathlete. I don't swim well. I don't really bike very well. I got a new bike Friday. So like not, not a long time, uh, not a lot of experience with bike and it's my first road bike. My first time with like bikes with um, cleats on them. So uh, I'm not gonna be the fastest on the bike. So I'm expecting that I'm gonna probably be out there, including the transitions, about three and a half hours, maybe more. And it's gonna be very, very hot on Sunday. Uh, Humidity is gonna be crazy, heat's gonna be crazy. There's not gonna be a lot of sun cover at all at, at any point during this course, I don't think. Although I do think at some points during the bike, I will be kind of underground in tunnels and stuff like that. So um, so there's that. But so I'm thinking I wanna make sure I stay cool as much as possible and stay topped up on my sugars and salts. So here's the plan that I have so far as a newbie, making it up as I go. So I think before the swim, what I'd like to do, I'm not sure exactly, it's not like my, I have a wetsuit, but it doesn't have, no wetsuits have pockets. So I don't know exactly where I'll put this and I don't wanna like litter after I eat it. So I'll have to be near a garbage can before I can eat this. So hopefully I can find a place reasonably close to the start where I can have a gel before the race. If I don't, I feel like it's gonna be okay, but you know, if I get that gel, it's got 22 grams of sugar in it and it's got some caffeine in it. I feel like that'll be good to kind of like keep me um, topped up during the swim. When I swim, I don't really, my heart rate doesn't go that fast because I can't swim well. I have one speed and it's slow. So I think I'll be relatively low heart rate for the entire time, but I think just having a little bit of sugars on board, I think will be helpful. I think it's gonna take me a little bit more than 50 minutes rests including all the rests and getting out of the water and all that stuff to get through uh the 1500 meter swim i know that's not fast i'll probably be one of the last people if not the last person in my wave to come out of the water that's just where i'm going to be at coming out of the transition then i feel like i'm going to really want to start topping up on some sugars as much as i can uh on the bike and so for me on the bike it's going to be about you know collecting myself mentally after the swim after the near-death experience which will be my triathlon swim and then uh, just trying to fill my body with as many sugars as I can getting ready for the run and so one of the things I've been testing out for the past like week uh, and change is this scratch super fuel it's uh, got 400 calories in it and a hundred grams of sugar per about 20 you can do mix it to 16 ounces or 20 ounces of fluid so that'll be in one bottle and um, I'm gonna like I'll have two bottles I think on the bike Oh, I will have two bottles on the bike. And the other one will be this other scratch product that I just tested out in the live stream th yesterday, uh, which is this scratch hyper. And it's got a regular amount of sugar, like as amount of, same as a, like a gel would, 17 grams of sugar, but it's got 1700 milligrams of salt. And so I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of sweating overall through the day um, and depleting a lot of electrolytes. So like, I feel like I'll just bounce back between the two bottles and I know that I won't get the full 1700 mils, milligrams of salt and I probably won't get the whole 100 grams of sugar from the bottles because I think drinking two entire bottles and I think the, the bike is gonna take me about an hour and a half. I think drinking two bottles in that time is gonna be a lot. It's gonna take an effort for me to like drink that much but I think it's gonna be necessary just based on how hot I think it's going to be um, during this race. So uh, maybe that's too many, but I'm also going to kind of like let my body tell me, I won't wait until I'm thirsty before I drink. But I, I think if I'm starting to feel bloated, I probably will back off and just kind of chill out a little bit on it, but I'll probably bounce back and forth between both of those. And hopefully this is what will be a total of like 2,100 milligrams of salt and 122 grams or 117 grams of sugars. If I can get half of each of those, I think that'll be decent. Um, but if I can get more than half, I think that'll be more in the ideal range. If I get all of it down and keep it down, you know, that's a big concern. Um, is if that much sugar and salt at once would give me GI distress. I haven't really tested an hour and a half of race pace of cycling to see how that does. So like, I'm a little bit nervous about that, but It'll be an adventure. I like to live dangerously. We'll see how much I can get down and keep down. So then after the bike, I'll switch into the Hoka's uh, and then I will then uh, 
bring another gel with me. I don't know if I'll eat the gel before I get out of transition or just stick it in a pocket um, in my uh, cycling jersey or my tri shirt, um, or if I'll save it, you know, put it in the pocket and then eat it like halfway through on one of those two. But I think, I don't know that I'll need the gel because there'll be, I, th I think there'll be sports drink on the course that I can take. I'll be dumping waters on myself to stay cold too. And then drinking sports drink if I can, but I've got the gel as well. If I want a little caffeine bump, it's not a ton of caffeine in here. I wish there were more, but there's not a ton, but a little bit of caffeine and um, a little bit more sugar. So that's kind of the plan. If I take in all of this sugar, I think I will have about like 21, 2200 milligrams of salt, uh, a little bit of potassium. I'm not sure exactly how much potassium and it'll be 100 61 grams of sugar for about three and a half, what I think is gonna be about three and a half hours of activity. So I think that makes sense for a day where it's going to be very humid and very hot and I'll be sweating profusely. So um, that's like the tentative nutrition plan. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take a look at this box. Matt Legrand, I'm sure you guys, if you guys are watching me, I'm sure you guys are already watching Matt Legrand as well. Um, he is, much more well versed in the triathlon space than I am. He's been helping me out kind of behind the scenes. I've been messaging him, I'm bugging like crazy, asking him all sorts of dumb noob questions and he's been very patient in answering them. And he sent me a triathlon care package. So let's take a second and um, take a look at what he got in here. Here we go. He has sent me a Sumo Pro. Let's check it out. Um, and it's got a message in here from Matt. It says, Yoko, here are a few triathlon things. Wetsuit, tri race suit, race number belt, and an ankle chip strap. Do I, I didn't know I needed an ankle chip strap. I thought that, I thought that they provided that. Anyway. Oh, and he's got some stickers in here. Very important. Swim, bike, run, rinse, repeat sticker. Nice. Thank you for helping promote the sport of triathlon and best luck in your up and upcoming race, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Awesome. Let's take a look in here. Look at this. We got a swim, bike, run, rinse, repeat shirt. This is dope. I love this color. Feels really nice. I need to start printing on this stuff too. This is a really good one. I really enjoy this. Thank you, Matt. And then we've got, look at this. Is this a tri race suit? Is that what I'm looking at here? I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Whoa. All right. This is cool. I'm going to have to take a look at this. Amazing. This is like way intense for me. But we'll have to see if this works. It's got pockets in the back. Nice. I don't even know how this stuff works, but I will figure it out. Cool. And then this must be the ankle strap, which I really didn't know I needed this. So, but this is how you do the chip timing, right? So I'll need that. And then belt. I do have a belt already, but I think this one is nicer than mine. Is this, I think this is for holding gels too, right? So thank you. And this and a wetsuit. Awesome. Cool. So I'll have to try this one on. This one has sleeves. I do have a wetsuit. I just tried it the other day. It is a um, sleeveless wetsuit though. But I'm gonna try this one on because that sleeveless one, I think I got one that's a little bit too small. So I'm gonna try this one on as well and um, see if this one's gonna work for me. So one of those things, um, so the, one of those suits, either that one or the one that I have will be the one that I use. Um, this is awesome. Thanks so much, Matt. This is really generous to, to send this over. Um, and it does have a bag that comes with. Cool. Um, but the tri suit is very handy because um, I did buy a pair of tri shorts and I had like a tri shirt that I bought like a separate like two piece stuff. 
But the tri shorts, I brought them back last weekend <laughs> to Iowa because um, I thought I would be do some cycling or bike, or cycling. Not, I keep calling it biking or bike riding, it's cycling. I was gonna, I knew I was gonna do some cycling, but I didn't bring a bathing suit back because I didn't know if we'd do any swimming that weekend. Um, but we did do a lot of swimming at the at, at a neighborhood pool, not the normal one we go to, but a different one. And I ended up going with my daughter on the, like the spinny water slide thing a whole bunch of times, and I think it really wore through some of the seams on some of my triathlon shorts. So those were like, I was like, I don't think I can race in these. I might kind of like bust a seam in the middle of the race. So the tri suit. Super cool. I'm going to try that on. Um, maybe I'll go for a run in it tomorrow and just look super weird just running around in a tri suit. But I think I'm going to have to try it out tomorrow. I'll give it a run. So stay tuned for that. But so far, I think, I mean, I got a lot more figuring out I got to do. Um, I got to do like the athlete briefing and I got to figure out like the drop stuff and the transition zones. I got a lot more figuring out to do. But at least I've got like some a lot of like the bigger things kind of figured out, I think. Um, and having some of this other stuff from Matt is super clutch. So thank you so much for that. Um, and you know, thank you for welcoming me to the sport too. So it's like, um, I re I do really appreciate that. It's been a lot of new stuff for me and having someone to kind of like bounce stupid questions off of and, uh, get some, get some tips and help and certainly sending a care package, which is super nice, uh, is definitely appreciated. So uh if you have any advice feel free to put them in the comments down below i definitely uh am all ears because i don't know really what i'm doing um or better yet come and talk to me in the chat uh in the live stream that i do monday through friday right here on youtube i'd love to see you there that's all i have for today everybody thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs or your swims or your bikes and i will see you guys in the next one oh what's going on